slowly fading in from black. It is White Boy 7th Street here bringing you some Call of Duty Black Ops Domination Ground War on Jungle. We're going to be using the ACOG AUG bar. Is it the AUG bar or is it just the AUG? Since now it's an assault rifle, I'm not sure. And I know it's kind of a scrub move, not in a douchey overpowered kind of way, but a lot of people prefer the iron sights because the benefit of all the other attachments that you can have. Triple kill! And all that good stuff, but for the AUG, I really like the ACOG on it for some reason. It's weird, it's, it, it's different, but I like it. I picked it up in Zombies once, and I absolutely fell in love with it. I don't know if it's the recoil is different or the accuracy at a long range, but I highly recommend just try it out for a few matches. Actually, I was trying to get the AK unlocked. This was going to be my last gameplay of December 17th, or whatever it is today. It really doesn't matter that it's the last gameplay. But I wanted to leave on a good note, and I really thought that this was a really really solid game and I was trying to get the AK actually because I don't like any of these assault rifles I don't like the AUG, I don't like the FAMAS, it's not my cup of tea I like the AK and the G11 and I do got the FAL but no, uh, I don't know about the FAL so anyways I'm trying to tell my teammates right here since it was only like five minutes ago when I got this gameplay I got a a napalm stripe on B it's good to go. We can capture it. I can't capture it, but you guys can capture it. And right there, I'm running away because it's not. Feel, I, didn't, I didn't feel it. Like it was a dangerous situation, and I was yelling at him. I was like, "Okay, you're not gonna capture B when it's wide open. So you gotta be camping, trying to get your KD up, and not defend C. And then for some reason, my flashes weren't killing this guy on last stand, which it had, it's been happening all day for some reason." my special grenades won't kill the last stand guy and I don't know has that been occurring with you guys maybe it's a little glitch or something I'm not sure so I I will be using the UAV napalm strike and the mortar team which I think hands down is the best kill streak loadout in the game as you see me playing the objective and, and this game is for all the people on Machinima respawn telling me, Oh, white boy, you don't play the objective. You just want to get your kills up. I'm not going to ruin my score, but I do get 11, excuse me, 10 defense and 2 captures, which is not too much in captures, but defending it that much times, I think it's pretty objective oriented. My whole philosophy and my whole motive for this game was to win, because we started off bad, and as soon as those people. My teammates wouldn't capture B when a napalm strike was down. I was like, well, I gotta, I gotta take this over. This is my game to lose. You know, I gotta, I gotta make an effort to, one, try to coach them and try to encourage them to capture the flag. So I was trying to communicate with them. There's a few people with mics. I don't know what they were doing. They were listening to like Michael Jackson or something. They were just off in some other Neverland Ranch world, or I don't know what they were doing. So I, I was trying to convince them they weren't really, I mean they were helping a little bit, but they weren't objective based players and I really had a, a bad day today in gaming. I was gaming for about uh, three hours and this was hands down my best game. I mean I wasn't going beast mode like I, I usually do, so I decide to tone it down a notch and you gotta see me, I'm not gonna be super duper aggressive because I wanted to win and domination, the B flag, on this map, oh, I do not like getting it. So I made a goal, I made a promise to myself that I will never lose the B flag. As long as I can, my, the B flag is going to be my main objective. And I vouched that we're going to win. Maybe we lose C, but we're not going to lose B. Because, as you guys know, the B flag is the most... Uh, difficult flag to capture in pretty much any map and man jungle I mean flak jacket if you got flak jacket I like right here I gave my life to it my KD probably went down because I only got I'll, I'll ruin some of the score I had five deaths and you know I, I gave 
my life for the B flag. I vouched. I said to myself, I was never going to lose this B flag. Under my power, I was not going to lose it. And I was serious about it. It's a good feeling. You know, fuck all these high scores. Anyone could use a chopper gunner, dogs, and the blackbird. Or, yeah, that combination or the gunship, whatever. It, it's not too hard to get a good game every once in a while. But if you consistently play the objective, one, it's a lot of fun. It is a lot of fun. You gotta have consistent fun. You know, I, you know, coming from me, I'm the one going 95 and 1 in Modern Warfare 2 as my computer. Shut up, computer. Can, can you guys hear that? I think my computer got mad. That was the computer that I would render all the 95 and 1 videos on and all those high KDR games in Modern Warfare 2. I mean, coming from me, that's old news. That's not impressing me anymore. You know, going with the 40 KDR using those super high kill streaks, it's, it's kind of easy. And you get one of those games, I mean, coming from me, I know how it is. You get one of those games every... I I, I should have aimed down sight right there. That was my fault. I had sight of hand pro. I don't know what I was thinking. But I will learn from my mistakes. But coming from me... You get one of those games every three hours or so. But if you consistently play the objective, it's got to be a lot more fun in the long run. Consistently more fun, challenging, and it's it's satisfying when you... I'm not going to say single-handedly, but when you are a big role in your team winning. It, it feel, feels really good. But anyways, I was going off topic. This video is titled The Best killstreak loadout or something along those lines and I really think I honestly think that it's the spy plane oh, I should have got that kill oh, shame on me but I think it's a spy plane napalm strike and the mortar team and I'm talking about any situation yes the dogs are going to get you more kills yes the overpowered high kill streaks are going to do you better and we're losing, see, we're losing B, I'm like, nope, no we're not. We're not going to lose B, I'm not on my watch. But if you're talking about playing the objective, two kills, you get the spy plane, which has got to help your team tremendously. It's, it's such a big advantage when you have the spy plane out for your team. And then if you get two more kills, you see I got the hard line on, but either way, if you get two more kills it's got to be either three kills for the spy plane which isn't too hard to get and it's a lot easier if you have hardline on to get two kills that's got to help your teammates tremendously you get the napalm strike which you can cut off a whole portion of the map you can cut off on this map you can cut off like two routes if you really want to so that's going to help defending the flag as i get a quad uh not a carpet bomb but it's almost a carpet bomb it's got to help in that aspect of it and even if you want to drop it on the flag, you got to get a... See, right here, no enemy teams can pass this little border that they set. So that that's good. We're playing the objective. And I, I'm saying best for, for winning because that's the new motion on YouTube. I see the tides are turning. It's more about objective gameplay. And right here, I defend A like no other defending series in my life. That, I thought that this was really, really good, and I hope you enjoy it because I... I'm running out of ammo, I'm reloading, I'm taking fire, but I'm defending A. I, I vouch to myself, okay, B, if we just do this, we're going to win. We're going to win if I can defend A like a gold medal champion, and I, I thought I did pretty well. But the the, tie, the ties are changing. We're, we're looking for team players on YouTube, and we're looking you know, for wins now. And it's more about objective gameplay in Black Ops. So you're talking about the mortar strike as well. And this combination works well together because you got the UAV and then you can use that, you can utilize that with the napalm strike because you know where they are on the map and then you can drop the mortar strike on it, you know, right after. So it's a great combination. They are low. It's only six kills and you can get all of them and it, it's a wonderful combination because it works so well with each other and... It's so, not easy to get, but it's not difficult to get. And that's pretty much it. So I highly recommend this killstreak loadout. 
if you enjoyed this video, if you learned any tips, 66 and 5. I would, while playing the objective with 10 captures, I would appreciate a thumbs up if you really enjoyed it. If you loved it, you can favorite it. And if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash whiteboy7thst, for the latest and greatest Call of Duty videos added daily in high definition. I would really appreciate it. it and objective for the win. Let, let's change these tides. Let's be objective based. Slowly fading out to black. Thanks for watching and have a good day. Bye.